Hey everybody, it's Brandon from World Mining Labs and just wanted to talk a little bit about barite testing. Just barite barium sulfate and then also drilling grade barite testing in accordance with API 13A or 13 alpha as I like to say. So here is a sample on the right hand side you see a sample testing services report. Uh, from us here at World Mining Labs uh, for barite. And so this is the rundown of all of the things that we do, when the sample arrives, who it's from, all that. And then we, we log our samples in as they arrive at the lab. And then if the barite needs any processing, then we get that done and note that here we've done testing on barite ore before, which is a lump ore that comes in as well as uh, processed barite that's already in the 200 mesh range. So here are the API 13 alpha barite test matrix that you can see. So the first thing and, and the most important thing for drilling grade barite since it's used to weigh down the drilling mud is the density. And so you can see here that the the API 13 alpha spec is 4.2 grams per milliliter uh, minimum. And then in our sample client here, we had one sample below that spec and one sample meeting, in a, uh, meeting that spec. The next one is a chemistry purity, and that's water soluble alkaline earth metals as calcium. And the limit there is 250 milligrams per kilogram, and that's a maximum. And in our sample case here, we were down at 29. It's pretty common to have low water soluble alkaline earth metals in barite. It's not something that I've seen spike a whole lot. It's generally low. The, the second, they're the last two analyses are a sizing, sizing analysis. And one is that there is any residue should be smaller than 75 microns and then the other one is any particles less than 6 microns so basically this is making sure that the barite isn't too fine and these sizing measurements can vary somewhat on the way that the barite is milled and so you see our sample results here now Another way to test barite is to actually check the concentration of barium sulfite, BASO4, through x-ray powder diffraction testing. And what you're typically going to see on higher grade barite up in the 4s, 4.2 and above, is usually you're going to see a 90% and above on the barium sulfate concentration. In this case it was. So again, another test you can do on barite just to check its concentration. And that's x-ray powder diffraction testing, which we can do. Then the other thing that the EPA requires is heavy metals analysis, um, mercury, arsenic, cadmium. We can actually run it on multiple heavy metals, even if the EPA doesn't have a spec for it. In this case, this sample client wanted mercury, which has a EPA test limit which is 0.6 and then the other one they wanted arsenic which actually doesn't have a limit. So the the image over here on the left is actually the Le Chatelier's flask with kerosene in it in a water bath maintaining its temperature and that is the way that that density is is measured of barite in the API 13 alpha. So there you have it. There are s several analysis analyses that you can do on barite, drilling grade barite with 13 alpha. You can do a barite concentration with x-ray powder diffraction testing and you can also do heavy metals testing.